Hello there, my name is Nasrallo and I'm bringing you this cryptocurrency update. Now, this is going to be a very chilled out video without any ads kind of a thing almost so that you guys get the most value possible and all I'm asking in return is a like. So without any further ado, let's just watch a beautiful pre-roll and get right into it. So, from yesterday, uh, I mean, call me Mr. Spot on down in the comments right now, because what did I tell you? That an amazing trade, an amazing short trade would be the retest of this uh, previously support right here with a beautiful short trade right here and retest this level again and then go down from here so if you've taken this short trade that i've mentioned yesterday and made some good money on it then please let me know down in the comments and once again please watch each single one of my videos from the beginning till the end because these kinds of trades pop up here and there and it's always nice to see my community making money so uh yeah if you made some money let me know down in the comments so currently obviously we had this beautiful retest and you know i don't really like saying this as predicted but i did say that this would be a beautiful short trade and again if you don't believe me go to the previous video i'll link it somewhere here so and uh, basically right now we are uh, we have slowed down at about 42 300 42 400 which previously actually has been a very important key market level for us uh, at this area right here we had a lot of resistance at this level. I mean this is not that very relevant of a level but nonetheless there still is a lot of um, support from it currently but the most important one the target right now is about forty thousand dollars so this is the strongest one this is the one I'm currently waiting for unless we're gonna turn around real fast so by the way if you didn't close your short trade just yet uh, the one that I told you about this one right here then if I were you and if you really want to play it, uh, play the long game and you're thinking that it's gonna go down to like thirty four thousand dollars or ten thousand dollars whatever so this is a trade you can keep but just in case because bitcoin is so volatile just pull up your stop into profit that's what i personally love to do and you know i'm stopped out here and there with zero with small profits and then i take a huge trade when i'm actually right about the direction of the market so and for that reason that would be my suggestion again not not financial advice do as you see fit but nonetheless that's what i would have personally done so once again right now waiting for forty thousand dollars unless it bounces back real fast and this is something i really want to discuss in this video because i really want to show you this right here but before we do let me just finish uh, a few thoughts here on this chart it's just that uh, right now we might be seeing this one of those you know really nasty shakeouts you know uh, a lot of people are going to be exiting right here obviously because this area is going to be the area of uh, disappointment a lot of people longed the market actually in this area right here as you might remember we actually all together have taken this beautiful trade right here going from here uh, down to around this area so this is where I closed my trade as you might remember with a $33,000 profit so that was really nice but again as we were going down a lot of people the reason why there was such an impulse right here in this candle is because a lot of people were you know disappointed in this break a lot of people entered right here so and uh, basically here they left just to cut the losses and reduce their exposure by the way if you want to be trading X then with my link down in the description of this video you'll get a four thousand one hundred dollar bonus on top of your initial deposit and uh, with my link there is also an, a, a video instruction of how to actually claim that bonus a lot of people have been uh, asking about it so use my link watch the instruction and go get that money so and uh, right now uh, this is going to I mean we are currently in the middle of the range this is very important to understand that for me to entertain any possibility of going into a long trade then I would really want to see a lot of power going above uh, 44 45 46 thousand dollar area this one right here but this is is not what I really wanted to mention in this video we all understand this more or less hopefully after watching me for so long you should be able to understand these things so uh, what I really wanted to mention was this right here and this is the CME Bitcoin derivatives hedge funds versus asset managers so I'm not gonna bore you with the details all that I wanted to mention here is exactly what are the retail traders mostly doing and what is the smart money doing so basically hedge funds so and this tells us a huge story that hedge funds actually which is blue right here it's consolidating right here a little bit they are more short on bitcoin uh, than they're long right i mean we've spoken about the current options and all the strike prices of options and for each single call there are three puts so there are three times as many 
um, short trades from big players and smart money than there are uh, long trades. So, and red right here is uh, the retail traders. So they have been buying this breakout, as you, see, as you can see right here. So what does this say? So smart money, uh, they are more in terms of active trading and you know short-term trades kind of thing and futures and stuff. So they are more uh, short. And uh, retail traders, just like us right here, believing in Bitcoin, we are more uh, bullish currently. So what does this mean? Uh, I mean, does this really mean that the market is going to be going down and Bitcoin is going to go down? And this is a very important lesson for you guys and girls, because out of my personal experience in the stock market and uh, indices, commodities, whatever, you know, you can see all of these on chain data where you can compare, you know, fundamentals and see, OK, Warren Buffett just sold whatever stock. Does it really? I mean, he's smart, right? Does it really mean that it's going to go down and not necessarily these kinds of big fish? hedge funds, etc. when they have a lot, I mean, they're constantly wrong as well. They're just as wrong oftentimes as retail traders. So, I mean, if this would have been, if hedge fund managers would be so genius, then uh, we could just follow everything that they're doing. But a lot of times, remember, and this is a history lesson for you guys and girls when it comes to a big stock market and uh, the US stock market that on Wall Street, there is S&P 500, right? We all know that on average, it moves like 15% uh, in uh, returns every year, right? On average. So only like less than 10, or you can correct me down in the comments, that less than 10 or 10, less than 10 or even less than 5% of hedge funds are capable of actually outperforming the S&P 500. So 90% of the hedge funds or so uh, would be better off just putting their money into the S&P 500, into the index and not doing shit anymore. And the thing is that they have a portion of their portfolio is in the S&P 500 and then the, with the other money they're playing around and, you know, investing, etc. And most 90% of hedge funds actually do worse than the S&P 500. What does it mean? It means they don't know what the hell they're doing for the most part. It, it sounds crazy. I know, but this is truth. Just research this topic and you'll be absolutely astonished. So for this reason, does it really mean much that the smart money is short in Bitcoin? Not really. I mean, it depends on who they are, what they believe. And I mean, if something like spot ETF is going to come out on Bitcoin, they all are going to get liquidated. And that's the thing. And a lot of them, actually, the ones who have uh, short trades on Bitcoin actually own Bitcoin and they are using it as a hedge. And that's something you have to remember as well. So for this reason, I mean, it's a very good indication that, you know, it's like an indication of mass adoption. You could say that retail traders are buying in like crazy and they're believing in this breakout right now, which is happening. And lastly, and, you know, and what, as I said, as I just said, and these the smart money that they're actually more short, it's oftentimes not what you think. So be very careful. And uh, so this current situation, again, of course, we're pushing down real hard. But there is one thing you have to pay attention to, and that is the volume on the weekly. Certainly, it's not nice to see. We all wanted to see Bitcoin at $58,000 by now. But the volume isn't really necessarily there. And remember, today is a Saturday. So it's got only like 20 hours left or something, 24, uh, a bit more hours left uh, for the weekly uh, candle to close. And this isn't really, I mean, it just seems like it's floating, you know, okay, you know, we're going down a little bit and we could actually squeeze here. Maybe we can break this level to have this come the play, uh, uh, break of $40,000 and have this complete disappointment. So those who are these red ones, so they would get uh, shaved, you know, as we say sometimes, shave the hamsters. So the hamsters are going to get shaven, whatever, yeah, shaved, shaven, yeah, whatever. You got the idea. So oftentimes when we see such an increase in long positions from the hamsters and all the retail traders, so that we later on shake them off and uh, actually buy Bitcoin from them uh, at a lower price, they lose money and we make money also a possibility. So be very attentive to the current situation and don't necessarily believe everything that you see. And as always, if you've enjoyed this video, please let me know by leaving a like. Look at this paradise of a place. There is a party. There's a party going on. Nice music. All right. Thank you very much for watching Thomas Carlo. Peace and love. My favorite, my lovely YouTube family. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.